Hello everyone, this is Dowel20 and welcome to episode 13 of Dowel20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, starting to move into my Mage Tower here, getting some of my Ars Nouveau blocks. There's only a couple that I've made so far, obviously, but hey, I moved them in regardless. Uh, in today's episode, I'd like to expand upon Ars Nouveau. I want to get access to some of the cool items and stuff. Uh, one thing I'd like to see about is fall damage. How can I avoid taking fall damage? That's going to be a question for us. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, no, there is the, the spells for, for that. But I'd, I'd love, like, uh, boots that prevent them entirely. Immune to fall damage. Ooh, that's that's probably what I want. That doesn't look... Yeah, we might be, uh, we might be making those. Grants slow fall after falling for far enough. Saves you from falling into the void. Uh... Yeah, I like those cyclic boots though. That sounds cool. I like I like the sound of that. Yeah. I think I think that might be what's up. And they are even a bauble, so that they don't have to be armor. That's kinda a thing. I might need to look into I could probably make some of this happen today. I don't know, it might be a thing that we have to do. Uh but first I need to get access to some cool spells. Like leap. Uh whoops, don't do that. Don't do that, direwolf. Uh, fix that. Fix that hole in the wall you just created. Alright. I'm gonna put you on harm mode, which will harm entities that they hit. Much cooler. Uh, especially for a default. So how about number three? We're gonna, we're gonna need to get into leap, right? Uh, so let's, let's look at that. So to make that, we need an air essence, and we need three Wilden wings, which we can get from killing Wildens, which I don't think I've found any yet, I guess. Um, so... Drops from Wilden Stalkers found in Wilden Dens or by using the Tablet of Summon Wilden. We might need to do the Tablet of Summon Wilden, okay? Um, the Tablet of Summon Wilden, uh, that's different, I think. That's what we want. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we can either use a block of Emerald and a Sword, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Consumed on use. Oh, that's rough. Uh, do we have any Wilden stuff? We don't have any Wilden drops. I might wait for nighttime and see if any Wildens are spawning. I've probably been avoiding them thus far. Uh, now, everybody keeps saying, why don't you just make Diamond Armor, Direwolf? I'm kind of purposely avoiding making Diamond Armor. I want to I want to wait until I can get some good Ars Nouveau armor. And I'm hoping that there's like a speed boost I can get on them. If not, life goes on. So how about I do this? Let's pop home and sleep through the day. Let's make it nighttime, and I'm going to go hunting for some Wildens so we can get that. The other thing I might want to do, by the way, uh, is get some enchanting going on my sword, if I could. That might be a good idea, because uh, I'm pretty sure I can enchant with, with this mod, right? Uh, I think I need source, though, before I really get into that. Um, so let's see, enchanting... If I wanted to put looting on a sword, I'm going to need some earth essence, some emeralds, and some source gem blocks. Um, so we're going to need a healthy amount of emeralds to make that happen. How am I on emeralds? Eh, not great, not terrible, but we could probably get more. I'm sure I can find a source uh, of emeralds to get here, whether they're out and about in the world or, uh, or elsewhere. So quite a few things I want to do in today's episode. Uh, I want to go find some Wildens to kill. I'd like to maybe get a, uh, a, nice, a nice source of... Uh, of emeralds so I can get looting on my sword. Not that I don't think you can get looting beyond three though. And as a reminder, you can totally get looting up to uh what level of looting can you get? Uh I forget. Uh pretty decent size of looting though, uh from Apotheosis, because we do have Apotheosis in the pack. But remember, Apotheosis needs a hefty investment of uh experience. So we're probably gonna hold off on on doing too much just yet with apotheosis but we will absolutely get there um so that said are those welding up there on the top left they might be welding actually they might be or they're cows i'm not sure or they're underground also possible or they might be bats they might be bats they might be bats underground that might be what they are Hello, spider. I see you. And look, we've got... And we can definitely, like, upgrade this at some point, and we will. I'm out of mana. Rip. Rip mana use. So we're going to need more mana and upgraded upgraded ranged attack with our, with, our, with our stuff. But there's a reason, I promise you, that I'm getting into Ars Nouveau. And part of that is the ranged attack abilities. Those might be Wilden up there up north. Or those are spiders. I can't tell. 
I can't tell. Yeah, it's not it's not the best weapon, but it'll do. Yeah, those are spiders. All right, so let me uh, let me run around see if I can't get lucky and find some Wilden. And if I can't, which will be fine, uh, there's definitely some uh, Whisper Legs. That's cool. Zombies, spiders. Just looking for some Wilden. Maybe they spawn more in. Did they say in tree biomes? I'm not sure where they tend to spawn, but I'll go looking in the forest here in a moment too. Oh, baby zombie, I hate you. Soon I'll have some cool mage abilities, though, and then I'll be very happy. All right. Uh, if I don't find Wilden in the next few minutes, I'm probably going to break and come back here. Zombies! No, thank you. Looking for Wilden. Man, we are having zero luck with the whole Wilden spawn thing, aren't we? Yep. Lots of other things I don't want to have to deal with. Alright, I'm going to come back in a few. If I don't find any tonight, uh, I will have to do the tablet thing. Okay? So, be right back. I got something cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Flawless Tyrannical Gem. Titan Forge. Find a mythic affix item. Okay, cool. Look at that. All right. Uh, I was just looking inside this tower that I found, which looks cool. I guess it has a bunch of bunch of apotheosis gems in it. That's neat. Hello. What have we here? Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? No. No, it doesn't. It does not sound good. I knew it wasn't good. I knew it wasn't good when I heard it. <laughs> All right, I have a corpse run to do. Uh, so I was I was checking out this village north of me, and I found it right across from the village. I did find some emeralds, though, so that's cool. All right, so I got some emeralds at least, but I've had no luck finding Wildens. I don't know why they're not spawning, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the ritual thing. Uh, but first, I want to get some source, So because I'm pretty sure we're going to need source in order to get... Uh, to get a ritual going, right? So let's get a couple source jars um, and an agronomic source link. And is that all I need or do I need something else? I kind of forget, but we'll find out. So if I remember correctly, the way these should work is the agronomic source link is kind of like your best early approach uh, to getting source going. Does that just sit there or does it sit on top of something? Well, it seems like it's accumulating stuff, so that's cool. So every time a crop grows nearby, it's going to accumulate some source. And then it's going to store it in a nearby jar. So placing these three jars here is going to place it in the nearest one. Once that's full, it's going to start spreading out to the others. Okay, so that's cool. And if we could speed up crop growth, that could be cool, right? That could be cool. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything for crop growth? Uh, Sprinkler consumes water and grows nearby crops. Mm, could be cool. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, how hard is it to make one of those? Doesn't look terrible. This only runs while water is inside the internal tank. Fill with a bucket or pipes. It will water nearby crops, increasing their growing speed. Consumes water source blocks from below. Multiple sprinklers in the same area do stack. Okay, and then there's also Terra Glass. Reactive to sunlight promotes crop growth. Uh, um, and that requires Terra graft, Glass to craft, by the way. Reacts to sunlight if it is in direct contact. Produces light and lights up crops when in the sun. Okay, uh, and that needs Terra Preta. Place below farmland for sprinkler-like growth. Oh, that's cool. That needs... Uh, Okay, and that needs biomass, which is some kind of sapling, flower, and leaves. That doesn't look too hard to make. And then dry peat bog is... Dry peat bog, when placed next door, will slowly turn into saturated peat deposits, which can be small to create fuel for the generator. But we want the dry version, which just needs some biomass, some dirt, and some charcoal. I think we could probably make a few of these, right? Let's try. Let's see if we can make this happen, right? So what we're going to need is some of you, 
Uh, does this have to be lime stained? It looks like it does, yes. Uh, biomass looks pretty easy if we can shear some leaves. So let's get a shear. Actually, I've got some in my backpack here. Luckily, I have this giant tree farm. Handy. That's a, that, that should be enough, right? Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Uh, and then from there, we should be able to make biomass. Let's get like, I guess that many is good, right? And if we needed a few more, I'm guessing you can take any flower and that'll be good. Yeah, that works, right? 64 biomass. From there, we should be able to get dry peat bog, which needs, looks like it needs charcoal. So let's just smelt up some wood. <laughs> I'm assuming you can handle that task, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Terra Preta needs dry peat bog, which needs dirt. So I'm gonna put you in there. That should be enough. Sixteen. Place below farmland for sprinkler like growth. Okay. Place below farmland for sprinkler like growth. Um, I wonder if you can combine all three of these, right? So we would need some lime stained glass, which needs some lime dye, which needs cactus green, which of course is super easy to get right now because I've yet to find cactus, but we'll figure it out because uh, I think I might still have some of these lime carnation dudes. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. All right. So uh, you make that many and I'm going to get one set of this. So that I can get one sprinkler, which just needs a couple cauldrons and a fluid hopper, which needs a wooden hopper, which needs more slabs of oak, probably. There, there, and there. And then we'll see what this does by way of actual, like, how fast does this grow crops. Now, it says it needs to be filled with water. So I'll probably borrow my sink for this purpose and we'll, we'll see what happens. Cool. Um, maybe it would be cool to do some laser IOing real fast for this. Let's get our uh, laser IO node and wrench. And then we're also going to want a couple fluid cards. So for this, let's just get a handful. I know I need at least two. We'll start with six and that should be good. Now, I don't know if this needs to be <clears throat> exactly, uh, like like it says, consumes water and grows nearby crops. Uh, it will water nearby crops, increasing their growing speed, consumes water source blocks from below, multiple sprinklers in the same area do stack. Is there any way to like see what the, what the range of it is? And if it's working, I guess what I'll do for now, just, just so I can understand how it works, right? Is I'm gonna do, you I'm trying not to step on my crops if you get if you get my if you get my drift but I'm totally going to step on my crops All right so on the down you're going to insert fluid and on the down you're going to extract fluid okay and you send water into there, and that should be working. See the little water particles? So he should be full now. Are you working? Doesn't look like it, right? I can't tell. Now you said something about placing this stuff under the farmland. Seems like it did something. And then you're also supposed to be like placed above. I don't know. It definitely looks like it's growing maybe a little bit faster than the rest of things. I'm wondering if uh, if this is too high, right? I'm gonna move you for a sec. I wanna put the sprinkler right here. Oh, you consumed your, flu your fluid. Okay, well that's good to know. 
not what I want to have happen, but... Oh, and I did the thing that I said I didn't want to do. Luckily, I have an infinite water source right next door. There you are. Let's prevent our farmland from being all bad. So you're you're using up water. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing water particle effects happen. So I think I think the, the sprinkler is working. It may not be super fast, but it looks like it's working. Right? Oh yeah, no, it's totally working. Sweet. All right, so now all I need to do, uh, if I threw the agronomic on top, would that be cool? I think so. So now if I just got like an automatic crops harvester, I think that might, yeah, we're definitely getting more particle effects now than we were a minute ago. Sweet. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So now I just need to keep you full. Um, I don't think sinks count as a water source block. I don't think in terms of, uh, in terms of, of adjacent, you know, crops being kept happy. I wonder if I could do this. I'm assuming that everything's going to be grumpy about that, right? Like you're going to all of a sudden start being like, I'm dry farmland. That's not good. Correct assessment of the situation. I think it is. Yeah. So we're not going to want that. So give me a sec to uh, decide how I'm going to keep you satisfied. I'm pretty sure I didn't set these up to be water loggable yet, right? Now, it's, it's something I'd like to do at some point, but I haven't yet. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll just put a node here and sacrifice one of these dudes so that every time it consumes water, it just automatically fills itself back up. And then hopefully it'll never suck a full water source block out from underneath. And then I should just note laser I, laser nodes should be water water loggable, right? I think I think I can make that happen. All right, that's cool. So now all I have to do is figure out. Um, I don't know if I need these things to be a thing. I'm guessing you give me back the terra preta, but I don't know. Uh, let's now look at how we can auto harvest this dude. So the harvester from Cyclic might be the way to go. Uh, all I need for this is an obsidian pressure plate, which needs two stone pressure plates okay uh, i'm also going to need a couple compressed cobble which is no big deal to make and uh some copper nuggets which i can also make happen did i not make copper into a compacting drawer that sounds strange to me all right so how do you work sir uh, i'm guessing i want to do something like this so that seems backwards to me you also apparently need some form of forge energy which i'll figure out in a minute how i'm going to get over here Okay, uh, so preview on, oh my goodness, look at you. Okay, yeah, no, that's big. Uh, that is big. Uh, let's shrink that down even further. Four by four, does that sound about right? And then that's gonna bring it out to there. Yeah, that looks good. That is very, Right, height, my, uh, that's fine. Uh, do I, if I do zero, does that mean just, yeah. And I'm assuming that means it's also gonna capture the internal bits. Cool. Okay, uh, down, requires redstone. So you need energy. Um, so I wanna understand how this works before I fully automate and set it all up. So I'm gonna borrow this capacitor bank, the extra one that I made, and that should retain its power. And then I want to see, do you pick up the items and spit them out somewhere? Or do you just uh, drop them on the ground where they lay? Because I'm going to need some kind of vacuum, dude, if it's the latter. So now you should have power. So now if I give you a lever. Oh my goodness. All right, so the answer is it drops it on the ground. But the good news is, is it like leaves the seeds in place, which is the key. Okay, so then we're gonna totally need um, some kind of vacuum up kind of dude. So there's the vacuum chest from Ender.io, which doesn't look too bad. That's probably doable. 
Pulsating alloy is what? Ugh, we're going to need eight ender pearls for that? That's a lot of ender pearls. That's a lot of ender pearls. There's got to be a cheaper way. Absorption hopper might be cool. That doesn't look terrible. We're going to have to pop in the end to get uh, some stuff there. And then there's also, like, obviously, like the, the magnets from uh, the magnet upgrade from pedestals we could use. That might be doable. Okay. And then what did you get me? Uh, you got me a bunch of wheat, seeds, potatoes, and poisonous potatoes. So that's four different kinds of items, right? So when this is on, he will harvest all the crops. So by keeping the crops harvested, it allows them to keep growing, which will allow me to keep generating source. Okay, so that's step one. We're generating the source at this point. Let's get, um, what I'm probably going to need to do is pop into the nether and find some blaze rods or something like that. So let me put some of this away. Probably don't need you guys no more. But what I will tell you is it feels like I'm getting full here, right? <laughs> See how many different items we already have? I'm going to have to deal with that in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to want some more 4K storage disks is what I'm thinking in my near future. How about two more 4Ks? I think I should be able to afford that no problem. If I made another batch of you. There you go. A little bit more storage. And hopefully by the time I hit 10 of these, I can switch over to the netherite ones. That would be cool. All right, so now that we've got harvesting happening, let's see. I don't think I have any blaze anything just yet because I've done a little bit of playing around in the nether, but not quite yet. Um, is there any sneaky way to get a blaze, dude? I could get it from magma creams and a crushing macerator, and I wanted a crushing macerator anyway, didn't I? Wasn't there a cool way to get magma creams? Crushing macerator can turn magma blocks into that. Okay, so what if we got a crushing macerator from Cyclic? All right, that's going to need a flint block. Four more of these. And two stone cutters. Okay. Um, and give me my energy conduits. I'm pretty sure you need power. Yep. Always on, sweet. So if I got magma blocks and we let this thing crushing macerate. Oh, hello. That's cool. And then you, I think we'll also get these slime balls. Yeah, 25% chance of a slime ball. So that's super cool. All right, maybe I didn't want to do that much, but you get the idea. I like this. There's, every now and then you run into a sneaky way to do something, right? And it's pretty cool. It's like, oh yeah, there is a sneaky way to accomplish what I'm looking to get done. Not bad, right? Okay, that's cool. And remember, we wanted to do these slow fall boots, so we're going to be doing some cyclic stuff anyway in the near future. Okay, sweet. All right, so with you good here, I should have the ability to now make an Eye of Ender. So that I can get myself a vacuum hopper. It would be super cool to me if that if that chest recipe was in here, the one that's like that's like two oak for a hopper. I should request that get added. Okay. And now if we wanted some functional storage, I would like the two by two drawer thing, please. Right? Because what we're going to get is seeds, wheat, potatoes, and uh, blah, 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 rotten potatoes. Poisonous potatoes, right? And then if we wanted a void upgrade from functional storage, that's going to need more obsidian, which I'm going to have to worm my way into getting more of at some point. But for now... I put that here, I put this on top, show area. Can I make you like a bigger area or are you just offset? Oh, you don't feel like you're a big enough area, do you? You don't feel like a big enough area. 
I can offset it down a little bit, but I don't think I can make you any larger. That's a bummer. It's just too small. It's just too small. So close, but no cigar, right? Um, and on the down, we can say items go down. So then here's the deal, right? If we come over here, let's sleep through this night again. So like any items that are in there should get vacuumed up, but there's definitely gonna be some outer items that are not getting vacuumed and that's gonna stink, right? And you'll automatically insert stuff that fits. Why are you doing potatoes? You shouldn't be doing those. Yeah, those potatoes. Yeah, there we go. Now nah, we're cool, right? I dropped a couple wrong things, my bad. All right, sleep through this night. And then if, if I only could make that one bigger, one more bigger radius. So let's try this now. I'm going to flip that lever. And it should all be getting vacuumed up turn off my magnet just to be sure but yes it does it just unfortunately also is not big enough all right let me see what i can do about that so we could try modular routers and see if that's a cool way to go uh for this does that sound like a plan um let's let's make a couple modular routers and what i would want is a vacuum module right unfortunately using another ender pearl but life goes on um, and making another hopper, but that's no big deal either. And so that's a vacuum module. Um, let's see how that works. What's, what's the range on that dude? So let's see what this looks like, right? Uh, so magnet back on, please clean up all this mess. You're off, so that's good. I'm gonna remove you. Thanks. And cool. So now if you're set to vacuum items, right? Um, I believe that if I drop stuff on the ground, you're going to be cool or no. Oh, yep. It's picking it up. Sweet. Okay. Uh, it only picks up one item at a time, but I think I can speed that up. Um, but that's not terrible, right? So let's let's go home and get ready to make that better, right? So two things. One, I'm going to want the router to then send items. Uh, extruder, it is the puller, it is the sender module. Yeah, that guy, okay. We're gonna want him to send items. Okay, and I'll explain modular routers in a second, but once I make sure that this is right, I think we're cool, all right? So in here, okay, modular routers works like this. You ready? Uh, there is a buffer slot that items can go into. And then there's modules, and the modules will execute in order. Um, so first thing it's going to do is pick up items. The second thing it's going to do is send. Um, now I think, do I do, I do this? Is that what I do? And then do that? Or sending direction down might be what I want to do. Ah, there we go. That's cool. So you can like send it remotely or you can send it to an adjacent block. And I think the sender module mark two might be able to do um, like wireless, like to, to further away blocks. And three can go even further. Um, so if you wanted to like, if you wanted this modular router to be like farther away, you could, you could use a Mark II sender to send it into this functional storage drawer. In fact, what I might do uh, is try that and not have the storage drawer here. Let's instead have the, the modular router here, okay? And what we could do is maybe, um, let's move this. And what I'll do is I'll put the um, the oak drawer here for stuff, and then I'm gonna put let's get you. And I'm gonna put you here, laser node, boom. And the chest, the sink here, and then on the down, you're gonna extract your fluids 
and you'll link from here. To here okay so now you're keeping full with fluids see you stand full now again okay and then i don't know if sender tier one can go long distance or not but we're gonna find out i'm thinking no i'm thinking he can't but we'll find out let's see if i do this you're gonna start picking up those potatoes with your vacuum module okay but he and i can also filter this by the way so I can like whitelist this and you'll notice it's going to stop picking up the potatoes because they're not on the whitelist. But if I add them to the whitelist, he will start picking them up again. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then let's put one, two, three on your whitelist as well. So you guys are all whitelisted, not you, you. Okay. So those things are allowed to be picked up. Okay. And then I want them sent via the sender module, but I need a tier two sender module uh, to actually get it going somewhere. So that can be turned into with an ender pearl, or if I had more sender modules, let me get more sender modules because they're cheap and I can get all three upgraded with one ender pearl. I think that's the way. Uh, so you get upgraded with an ender pearl to be a tier four sender module. And those are those are super neat. Okay, so I believe you shift right click on the block you want to target. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Okay, and FYI, it tells you it's going into the top of the block. So if your blocks are sided, that's a thing that you can be aware of. Cool. And now it's sending those potatoes you know, straight over to there. How cool is that? That is super cool. Now, if we wanted to, we can augment this with stack upgrades and speed upgrades. Um, and I probably want them to be in both. So let's get um, some more paper. Okay. So speed upgrades, need these need blank upgrades. All right. We're going to get, uh, oh, you need a blaze rod, huh? Is there a... Crushing Macerator has a 5% chance to get braided. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to try it. I mean, we have a Crushing Macerator, right? No reason not to try it. Do we have another rack in here? We do. But if I throw a stack in there, there's a halfway decent chance we should get at least one or two. In theory, there's a decent chance we'll get one or two. And if we don't, oh well. Uh, so that's your speed upgrade. Stack upgrades are a little bit easier. Um, we just need some kind of clay smelted into bricks. Hey, we got one. Hooray! Advancement into fire. Okay. So speed upgrades will make things a little bit faster. And stack upgrades will allow multiple stacks to be transferred at a time. Okay. So in theory... We're going to find out if I did this correctly or not. All right, so let's have like, you know, a stack of wheat sitting here ready to be picked up. Notice it's picking it up one item at a time. Uh, once my magnet is, oh, magnet was on. Are you picking up? No. Go, wheat, go. Oh, yeah, you're picking up one item at a time and sending one item at a time. Okay, let me remove the sending module just so you can see that, right? So if I threw this in here, see now it can pick up 16 items at a time. And if I did this, it would pick it up 16 items at a time and that much faster, in theory. Yep, see how much faster it's going now? Yeah, that's what's up. And then we do this and it can transfer 16 items at a time. Sweet. Okay, so that's cool. So now um, I do this and it should be picking them all up in a six block radius, hopefully, and transferring them. Cool, 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 cool. And I feel like we're gonna need more source jars, right? I think we are. I think that's what we're gonna want. Because we're gonna want all the source. Sweet, all right. So that's cool, right? So now that should be fully automated, minus the fact that I don't have power for it, but I'll deal with that problem in the future. But for now, right, we are 
uh, harvesting the crops, growing them to get source, using cyclic to sprinkler them, and using modular routers to pick up the drops and deposit them into this chest. Uh, and then we just need some more obsidian so that we can uh, so that we can void upgrade it and and be really good, right? So I think I should I think I think I think I think I should get that now. Is there like a cool obsidian maker dude? Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. Uh -huh. Entropy manipulator, huh? That's kind of cool. Oh, that's right. Obsidian has a chance of, of kind of with that. We can we can bulk wash that. That's a, that's a good way to do it too. Yeah, material generator can also do it, but it uses up the lava. It's not the end of the world. Fluid mixer. Yeah, I think what I'll probably do, let's just do this. You ready? Just because I don't want this to be a whole thing. I only need two for the moment, so that's what I'm going to get. Okay, and then I can get my void upgrade. Because we're going to need it sooner than you think. And how are you doing over here? Not bad, we got a couple more blaze rods. Sweet. All right, and then we'll save this absorption hopper for some time in the future. You guys can all go away organizing this stuff. We're done with you for the moment. You can go away. And that's pretty cool. Not too shabby. All right, and then while we're at it with functional storage, maybe I should consider uh, gold storage. That's a lot. Copper I could probably get away with not worrying too much about. I'm going to do copper. That'll let me store by 8x the amount. So I want to I wanna build up a decent amount of crops, but I don't need to be like ridiculous right it's crops it's not it's not something we need like a bajillion of um and the way we're producing it is pretty cool right so right now we can hold 512 of each if i throw this upgrade in there we can hold 4000 of each and then by throwing a void upgrade in there um it will continue to accept items and void excess so without the void upgrade we would eventually fill up on potatoes and then potatoes would jam up this thing and he wouldn't pick up any more items because the potatoes would be stuck in here and have nowhere to go uh, now, I believe there's also, from modular routers, a trash upgrade. Um, there's so many modular mods. Uh, there is a trash upgrade, I think. Void module. Uh, and what that will do is it will void, I think, uh, any items. So what you could say is um, throw a void upgrade after this, and then you wouldn't have to worry about uh, having a void module on here. But it's not that big a deal. Cool? All right. So, hey, we're getting lots and lots and lots of source now. I'm pretty pleased with this, actually. Not a bad little farm going on, right? All right. And that is a good wrapping up point for the episode. So we created a source farm today. That's what I'm saying I did. Uh, it is not terrible. Uh, we could probably throw, like, a really small solar panel on this because I don't know how much power this uses, but I'm suspecting not a ton, right? Um, so if I went and popped home, the only thing left is to, is to throw some 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 power on there so if we wanted a solar panel like we could just get like a really small one like maybe a tier two solar panel i'm sure that those exist yeah solar panel tier two so i'm just going to need um one two three four five six seven eight of those and then a tier two does it have to be sticky? No, it can be a regular. Okay. And now that tier two solar panel should be more than enough power to keep the harvester running. Boom. Right? And then that's going to fill up on power. Right? Slowly but surely, but should be enough. Okay. I'm gonna have to make sure my magnet's off when I'm in this area. 
But yeah, and that'll keep it full. And guess what? Nighttime's gonna happen, and then we're gonna lose some power, and then daytime's gonna happen, and we're gonna net gain, hopefully. But it looks like we're net gaining right now. Hopefully we're gaining uh, like double what we're using, and that should be fine. And between me sleeping and everything, we should be fine. Worst case, bump that up to a tier three, and you're good. So wrapping up point out with my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, that was a fun one, I thought. That was pretty cool, right? We got some good stuff today. Uh, and then next episode, we'll come back. And now that we have a decent amount of source, we can start having some fun with Ars Nouveau stuff. For now, take it easy.